farmers usually don't have market information getting to them. How much do you produce? When do you produce? What is in demand? What is not? What is fetching a better price? What is not? And number two, the lack of transparency. You go to the market, you buy vegetables, there is no idea, there's no information about this vegetable whatsoever. How they have been produced, where they are coming from. We are exploring how the blockchain technology can be used to address the trust among value chain actors and information flows. We've been really working in a strong partnership between Virginia Tech, Egerton University here in Kenya, and AgUnity. I had some interest in blockchain and became aware of the AgUnity app. AgUnity is a technology company. We are serving the last mile. The last mile are usually the type of communities who are the last one who get to access services to finances or telecommunication signal, technologies to smartphones, for instance. We started by surveying the producers, the farmers, the traders in the middle, and then the retailers at the end, and also talking with customers. And from that information, we were then able to adapt the AgUnity blockchain app to suit the value chain for African indigenous vegetables. We gave 58 users a phone loaded with the AgUnity app. I've just bought her vegetables at 80 shillings. So she wants to give me the vegetable, want to transact. Essentially, each actor has their own unique QR code, and when a transaction is happening, the price and the quantity that's being transacted, as well as the variety, all of that information is entered into the seller's phone. Once they both agree that everyone accepts, they scan the QR code. Then when the buyer pays the seller, another scan of the QR code occurs. They can actually see it in the smartphone, they can see their wallets, they can see their transaction history, they can show it to the banks for them to get some loans, they can show it to the insurance company for them to get better premium for their produces. The main objective of AgUnity is to empower people through the data. Blockchain can be really useful because when we put an immutable ledger system where everybody can learn to trust the data, they can learn to trust the people that they are transacting with. If you did something and you forgot, maybe you forgot to pay, that person calls you, says, you have not, you have not paid me my money we agreed on Wednesday you will pay me. You may say yes or no, but you can go to the phone to confirm so that you don't argue. The phone can remind you where you made a mistake. I have been able to get the money to get the money to get the money. I have been able to get the money to get the money. Jamima anajua niko na namboka na niletea ananiambia leta sitatembea kutafuta wanunuzi to hear that kind of immediate tangible feedback is really impressive and exciting. If this project is successful, producers and farmers will have higher incomes from the sale of their African indigenous vegetables. Consumers would have knowledge and information about the value and would be purchasing more, which would in turn hopefully increase the nutrition intake of their families. Conventional research I'm used to. What would have done is would have gone to the field, done our research, have our findings, write journal papers, write a report, end of story. But now with the research translation partner, when we are exiting the project, we will leave the farmers with real solutions to these problems. This really now makes research more interesting. The final part of the embedded research translation model is then to get it out. And so that's sort of the phase that we're in now as we're learning the positive impacts that it's had on the users. Without USAID's funding through the Laser Pulse project, we obviously wouldn't have been able to accomplish any of this. It's not even just that they funded our research idea and we've been able to develop the AgUnity app. We've really identified many connections, many opportunities that will extend far beyond this project. There's so much potential for it to transform agriculture in Kenya. I really have a big dream for it. If I'm enabled, I want to go far. We want to feed the whole world a good thing. Good, organically grown, African living vegetables for all.